Hello everyone, in this video we will design an application to perform the arithmetic operation using MDI form. Now we will begin our video. So if you open your window, the, this is a default window will be appearing on the screen. So this is a form 1. We need to create a MDI. For that just go to the property and there will be a MDI child. Just turn it to true. And at the bottom, you will be having a window state. Just set it to maximized. And go to the project explorer window and right click it. You will get an add option and add MDI form. So this is our MDI form. Here also change the window state as maximized. And I will change the background color of this window. will place in menus go to the mdi form and just right click it you will get a menu editor so this is the main menu that is operation and the name is mnop press next to create a sub menu just press this right arrow and type addition and the name is mn add Next, subtraction, name, yaman sub. Next, multiplication, yaman, yam, u, yal. And for division, the name, I'll give us M and D I V. We'll have an option for clearing the screen. So clear and the name M and C L R. And the one more main menu for exit. So press left arrow and type the caption as exit. Name M and exit. So this is the menus. So give OK. So the menus are visible here. Now we will design a form 1 interface. So I will change the background color. I will place the required controls. Now I had placed all the labels. So to get the same size, I had just copied, but don't create the controller. While it tags the controller, just give no. I will place a text box. I'll just copy it before this. I'll just say exit. And control C and I'm pasting it. Give no. Okay, I'll just copy this. This is my text box too. We'll change the properties of this label. So label one, the name is label one, but the caption first number. For label 2, caption is second number, name is label 2 only. For label 3, I'll give us result. I'll just erase the content of label 4 and the name, I'll change it to result. Now I'll change the background color of this label. To select the multiple controls, just press and hold the control key and select each and every item that you want to modify. So I'll go to background color and select the same color of form. So this is form color. For this, I'll give the green color.
for text one the name is text one only and for text two text two only now we'll place it commands so as we are using your control array with the help of only one procedure will perform a different task using this control array feature so for that just align your command to one and you can copy it and paste it for multiple operation so go to the caption and give as addition and the back color See here the background color is not visible here to make it visible just go to the style property and set it to one that is graphical now it is visible i just copy this addition and paste it and give s because here we are using the control array property for that you have to give s so place on this you have to place all the comments one on the another that is one by one so I'll change the caption as subtraction. You can change the color also. And again paste the multiplication. Give the caption as multiplication. Color. One second, paste it for division. The caption center division. So this is the form design. Now we start coding for this form. Just double click on this. We set a condition if text to one dot text equals to empty quotation or text to two dot text equals to empty then if both the text box or any one of the text box is empty you have to pop up a message that enter both the values else if both are filled, we have to go for the select statement case. As we are using control array, we have to specify each and every task with the help of the index only. So we'll just give your index. So in the property window, you can see here this is a command one. In index, you can see three. This is for division. Likewise, for each and every command, you will be having a index number. So we'll be using zero and to result one dot caption equals to give a string addition sorry is give a amplifier and while of text one dot text plus while of text to dot text here i'm not using any variable i'm just directly printing that statement in the result of table itself so this reduces our typing work and even the length of programs get reduced here so i'm just copying this two statement and paste here you can change the case number as one and the addition to subtraction and the sign to minus symbol again enter it paste your statement two and this is for multiplication So the sign is asterisk. Finally, for division, the index is three.
here and slash. Now we'll end our statement. End the select statement. Enter. End your if statement. So this is the coding for. One second. This is the coding for this form one. Now we'll do code for this MBA form. Just double click on this. Go to exit and press it. This is exit. I mean coding window. Declare a variable dim msg as string. So enter msg equals to message box. Do you want to exit? Give a question mark, close the quotation, give a comma, bb s no cancel. So this is the button will be appearing on the message box. Give a plus. And for icon BB question again comma and the confirm is the name of your message box will give a condition if my message is BB yes if I press yes my screen should come out of from this output screen for that unload me then end your statement and go to this procedure just select the MDI form and give form 1 that is the name of your form here you can see it this is the name of your form dot command 1 of your index that is 0 dot visible equals to false as soon as you execute your programs all the command should be disappear that is none of the command should be appear on your screen so i'll just copy it and paste for three times and change the index value to one two and three Now copy this entire four statements and go to the add that is M and add and paste it. Find one more statement that is form one dot result dot caption equals to empty quotation. When you are performing the next operation, the result box should be emptied. For that only we are giving this statement. And keep selecting this five statement and copy it. After that, just turn this index value zero means you have to turn it to true. This to perform the addition and go to here and just select the next operation. I'll select division. Paste your statement that is five statement and for index value one, sorry, for three make it to true. So this is division, right? For division, we are having a 3 as an index value. And for multiplication, paste it. For 2, turn it to true. And finally, for subtraction, paste the statement. For 1, give us true. MN OP that is operation we have to link our form. So form one dot show. And finally we'll do for the clear command that is clear result for the form one dot result dot caption equals to empty quotation form one dot text to one dot text equals to empty form one dot text to one sorry two dot text equals to empty and we have to set the focus for the text box one so form one dot text to one dot text set focus dot set focus
So this is the coding for this MDA form. So finally we did our coding. We'll just execute for the error. So this is our form. As I said, as soon as you execute, the command should not be displayed here. For that purpose only we have used that MDA load. So if I press here, if I click on this add, my addition button should be displayed here. So I just click it. See here it is displaying. And for division, it is displaying. And finally for subtraction. Okay, text to one dot set focus. So I'll just enter the number. So if I enter one number and perform my task, it should pop up a message that enter both the values. Okay, we'll just enter it. Subtraction. Subtraction is minus 11. So after performing the another task, the text box that is the result box gets emptied. For that purpose only we have included one more statement for that statement. So this is our addition. For multiplication and this is for subtraction. So I'll just enlarge this result box. Go to this form one. So if I click on this clear all the boxes should be get cleared and my cursor should blink in the first box. So we will just check it. See here it is blinking here and one more code is that if I press exit it will ask for three options. If I press no and cancel it should remain within the screen. If I press S only it should go out from the screen. So we will check that addition. So as I said Confirm is the name of my message box. It's the icon is question mark icon. If you are not specifying so much, by default, it will just ask, do you want to exit? That's it. So if you click OK, it will get exited from the screen. So if I give no, it will remain here. It is remaining. And if I give yes, it should go out from this window. So it is getting. So our code is successful. I hope this coding is understood and it will be useful for you. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you do like, press the like icon and share to your friends so that it will be useful for them also. And once again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Take care. Bye bye.